This time out, we took the kids on their first ever deep sea fishing trip, and everybody was excited. Yay. Excited. Me. Let me buckle up. Y'all better buckle up. Buckle it up. We look forward to this trip every year, and we always fish out of the Ocean Isle Fishing Center, and we have great success every time that we do. We were actually running several miles offshore to get the kids started with some snapper fishing on a reef when we spotted a bunch of birds on the surface of the water. You should always keep an eye out for visual clues that will alert you to the presence of bait fish. Keep the rod tip up, okay? That's it. Since we knew fish were in the area, we abandoned the snapper idea and started trolling all around the school of bait fish. You got a Spanish mackerel, baby. Woo! How you doing, babe? Yeah, that yeah, girl. Fishing yeah. in the boat, baby. Nice job. Did you do, buddy? Did you go to Spanish? All right. Look at those guys. Good job, both. Got a double there. And once we hooked up, it seemed like we were in them all day. Good job, buddy. All right. Good number of Spanish in the boat, we decided to go for something a little bit bigger. We're going shark fishing! We started out drifting cigar minnows with the current just a few miles offshore in the hopes that we could get the kids into something a little bit bigger for them to reel in. When you're shark fishing, sometimes it takes about 20 minutes for the chum slick to really get going, and we were hooked up about 22 minutes in. But it turns out what was on the other end of the line wasn't quite what we were expecting. Oh, 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 that's a king, baby. Oh, Woo. oh buddy. Fish, man, that is awesome! Oh, okay. My goodness! <laughs> With the trophy in hand, we could call it a day and turn our attention towards a fish dinner that's as fresh as you're ever gonna get. And this kingfish was big enough to land yours truly at the top of the leaderboard for 2021 out of Ocean Isle Fishing Center. At the time, anyway. John Turner. John Turner. For dinner that night, we had our hearts set on Spanish mackerel. Come in here behind this, uh, behind this pectoral fin. I'm gonna put an incision right there. We're gonna come down here to the tail, just put an incision right there. Now we're gonna work along this spine. I like to start at the tail. Oop. Work along this spine, up like this. We're gonna do the same thing down on the bottom. Working up to spine in the middle of the fish, just like that. Stick this blade through, working it right up that spine. Just like that. And just cut this part from this belly meat right loose like that. It's not meat you're gonna want anyway. There you go. Now we need to remove this bloodline before this blood seeps out into your meat. You definitely wanna do this before you freeze it or your meat's gonna become dark and discolored. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just make some cuts down this spine down the center. Just like that. And on this side as well, and my knife, if you can see it, is angled in towards the middle. Now you can see, I can pull that entire thing free just like that. All right, I've pulled all that loose. Cut this last little bit. And now I've got absolutely perfect um, fillets out of this. A mackerel 
leave the um, outer skin on because if you try to skin this it's just going to make a mess so you leave the outer skin on when you cook this and cook it just nice and slow that skin is just going to absolutely fall off of there and it's just going to be the most tender thing in the world you won't have to worry about that skin if you don't want to eat it fine it's going to fall off man what a day we had just a ball out there on the water we had about as good a weather as you could hope for the kids had a blast on their first ever deep sea fishing trip and uh, man what a nice king mackerel that we call it. shark fishing of all things tonight we got something a little bit different in mind we're going to cook some spanish mackerel my sous chef is ellie is my sous chef she's a little bit camera shy hey ellie everybody in this house misses our doggies so look look my sous chef tonight is a little bit of a trial run. Our One of our good friends is out of town, we're dog sitting. It's as much of a trial for the dog as it is for the family just to see how the kids do with her and everything. So they're doing great and hopefully we can get ourselves a hunting dog. What do you think? Oh, you kind of warmed me up to the idea too. Okay. As far as the recipe for the fish itself, it could not be simpler. Start by covering the fish or the non-skin sides with both salt and pepper. If you have a favorite seasoning, go ahead and hit it with that as well. Cut fresh cilantro have cherry tomatoes that have been sitting in salt and pepper for a few minutes. Add the freshly chopped green ends of scallions, then finish it off by drizzling with extra virgin olive oil. To help protect the moisture in each piece of fish, we like to wrap them individually in aluminum foil. Start by sealing the foil long ways and then rolling it down towards the fish and do the same thing at each of the ends. And trust me, you'll be glad you did. Okay, we're gonna do that with the rest of these fish. We're gonna get them into the oven. 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. It almost doesn't matter the time once you get within those parameters. You can't screw it up and you're gonna love it, I promise. Got my special oven mitt. Our timer went off just about a minute ago. One of the best things about, oh, smells good one of the best things about cooking this way with this fish wrapped up in that foil you have a little bit of leeway the timer goes off you're not going to overcook it because it is just locked in there just all the moisture and the juice and everything is just packed around that fish it's going to turn out just as tender um, even if you wind up being a minute either side of that timer so here we go um, let's go ahead and oh look look right there see all that juice right there yep oh it's hot i'm gonna give that a minute before i try to unpack it with my bare hands Time and age have made me wiser. Oh, son. Look at there. My goodness. If that right there looks good to you, we can be friends. Let's plate this thing. That fish is not even gonna fit in this bowl, but that's okay. Big old Spanish. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and serve this up over a bed of ginger corn with a little bit of purple onion um, green scallions that we had left over from the fish, olive oil, salt, and pepper. What else do we do in here? I think that's about it. It's really, really simple. Just saute that for five, six minutes while your fish is cooking. Looking good. Ooh, look at there. Acton thinks we need a bigger plate or a smaller fish. I don't think we do. I think that that looks fantastic. It looks how it's supposed to look. Look at that, you want your fish overhanging your plate. Hmm. That is next level right there. I've always heard that Spanish is the best tasting of the mackerel family. I can't disagree with that after eating this, but that recipe, honestly, would work with anything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. We appreciate you. We'll see you next time. God bless every one of you.